My style of dance is tap. Uh, I chose that style because I trained for uh, 13 years and I also teach tap and hip hop now. Originally, um, I was actually cut at the Green Mile um, and then I heard from one of the producers that there was an injury and I was one of the uh, contestants that was on reserve so that they wanted to use me but unfortunately I wasn't initially chosen but now you know due to the circumstances I've been given the opportunity to come here and prove myself. There's three tap dancers and I don't think I don't know if there's been a season that they've had that many tappers. Um, I know that when we went to Vegas week there was more tappers there they said than ever before so I knew that they've definitely you know pushed an emphasis towards tap which I think is amazing because last season there was none. Um, I made it to Green Mile last year too and I got cut and they didn't take any tappers at all. So I think that was, you know, huge. And um, yeah, I think that would just be amazing for TAP and, you know, bring the public eye now to watch TAP and continue, let the art continue to grow rather than die. The thing that separates me from my competition is the versatility. Um, I was trained in other styles, but also being able and capable of tapping, I think, you know, gives an edge. And it also helps with timing and a few other things, as well as dancing like a male and having strength and my performance. I like to, you know, put a huge emphasis on my performance. If I won season 10, it would mean the world to me, not only me personally, but for TAP. I think as TAP, you know, hasn't necessarily been in the most uh, forefront of, of dance, you know, nowadays. So I think that would be just a huge, huge deal. My style of dance is TAP. Uh, I chose that style because I trained for uh, 13 years and I also teach tap and hip hop now. It means the world to me to be in the top 20. Um, it's quite the experience. I'm just so happy that I've been given the opportunity. Um, initially, I wasn't even supposed to be in the top 20. So I feel very, very lucky and blessed to even be here. Originally, um, I was actually cut at the Green Mile. Um, and then I heard from one of the producers that there was an injury and I was one of the uh, contestants that was on reserve so that they wanted to use me but unfortunately I wasn't initially chosen but now you know due to the circumstances I've been given the opportunity to come here and prove myself. Honestly um, I consider So You Think You Can Dance uh, a vehicle. It's like it's a vehicle that brought dance to the forefront. It can bring you know any person's career like Twitch is a great example of that. I mean he was just a regular dancer and now is a vehicle that sent him forward and moved him into a career. Um, my dream wasn't even So You Think You Could Dance, because like I initially said, I didn't think that I was good enough to audition. I didn't think that you know, my tap being the strongest would be something that would allow me to make it all the way through the competition. It was more of my, my students and my family who you know, would like talk about me and saying that they could see me doing this stuff. It was their dream that they projected to me until eventually I like, believed them. And I was like, wow, you know, if you have this much faith in someone, I might as well go give it a shot. So I went and auditioned and I got sent directly to Vegas. And I was like, okay, that, that's great. And then as every round continued to go by in Vegas and I continued to stay, my confidence continued to grow. Until by the time I was at the end, I was like, okay, I mean, maybe, maybe there is some truth in what everybody's been saying. And then the cuts had happened and then everything, you know, had led up to this point, but then now I'm here, so I can't complain. Uh, I think that my strength as a dancer would be, I like dancing like a male, you know, male dancers are, you know, perform with strength and masculinity, but also, you know, with my style as tap, I have really good rhythms and timing, and I like tap because it's one of the few styles of dance that incorporates movement, but also sound. Um, I know that when we went to Vegas week, there was more tappers there, they said, than ever before. So I knew that they've definitely, you know, pushed an emphasis towards tap, which I think is amazing, because last season there was none. Um, I made it to Green Mile last year, too, and I got cut, and they didn't take any tappers at all. So I think that was, you know, huge, and um, yeah, I think that would just be amazing for tap and, you know, bring the public eye now to watch tap and continue, let the art continue to grow rather than die. Uh, everybody at home, all my close friends, family, all call me AT. Just my first and last initial. It's kind of like the name that I've gone by as far as when writing my music. My father, like I said, he was an entertainer. He used to go by E.T. before the movie came out, because his, his name's Earl Turner. So he went by E.T., and then the movie came out, and he was kind of cool with that, because he didn't want everybody to be like, phone home, you know, think he was an alien. But so I just continued to go by E.T., and that's what all my you know, students and all my friends and family call me.